morning, University Reformed Church. I'm a little tired. I'm sure many of you are a little tired as well right now. One of the things we need to remind ourselves is, is that the Lord has promised to always be with us and to draw near to us. And it's not a mystery how he does that. He does that by his means. He's given us his word and he's given us prayer uh, to draw near to him. So I want to encourage you this morning to establish new habits uh, or maybe renew some old habits and especially family worship when I talk to you about today. Would you, with your family or with your roommates, gather together just to worship each day? Establish that new habit where you just take the Word of God and you read a short passage and you pray a short prayer and you dare to sing together. Listen, the two things that we often talk about as the great barriers are the awkwardness and time. Well, awkwardness, listen, you're already doing that on Sunday morning as you're gathering together and you're singing together, as awkward as that is, as you're praying together and reading the Bible together. So we check that one off. The time factor, well, many of you have more free time now than you ever have. Where you have the evenings where you aren't running kids off here and there and you don't have meetings. And so you have the time. And it doesn't take long. Five minutes. At most seven minutes, ten minutes. Where you just take the scriptures, you read them, you pray, and you dare to sing together. This is how the Lord meets with us. And in the midst of that, he will minister to your family. He'll minister to your soul. He'll provide comfort where there's a lack of peace. He'll encourage you to talk about all of these things that are going on in your minds together. You'll hear from your children. What is it they're anxious about? What is it that makes them worry in the midst of this coronavirus epidemic or pandemic? And you'll get to pray with them. You'll get to minister the Word of God to them. You'll get to share with them your own anxieties and your own struggles and all the sin that's going on in your home today and went yesterday on in your home. It gives the opportunity for you to ask for forgiveness for one another and to grant forgiveness and to pray for one another. It is fertile ground for the Lord to work in our midst, gathering together in family worship. So would you do that? And if you don't know where to start, our elders are sending out daily devotionals and they're putting them on our website. That would be a wonderful place to start. Just take the passage that they're walking through, read that passage, and you have already a ready commentary there. And then you can pray about it and you can sing together. Establish new habits. Worship together as a family.